Welcome in everyone. Happy Tuesday. How we do? Thank you for that raid. I don't know if you're still around, Shinigami. Regardless, welcome in everyone. Start off with coffee as usual here.
It's been a while since I did that. It's a little bit over on my pour. A little over on my pour. new. Hopefully everyone's had a good start to the week. Hello, Will. Welcome, welcome. Cheers. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for joining me. Words. Difficult, apparently. Captions was giving me issues at the beginning of the stream today. Not sure what was going on there. It was weird. It was like the link wasn't working for the overlay. And so, like, if you look at the first part of the VOD, it looks like I kept switching it on and off because it wasn't updating. Then all of a sudden it started updating again, so I fixed it. Network study, that's running decently, okay. We'll see. Alright, dinner tonight. 
what am I starting with? We need to do lentils. I need to get some stock melted down. So we'll start by breaking into some of this chicken stock. Then I'm actually going to melt them on both sides of the stove here. I'm reaching behind for my towel. I don't have a towel tonight. Um, don't want to use those. I guess I'll use one of these. Peel. So, over on the stove, you can see I've got one on both sides. The reason I'm going to use two different things, chicken stock, is the first one I'm going to, this one here is going to get watered down, and then this one I'm going to add into the whole soup towards the end to sort of become the actual broth. This is mostly going to get evaporated slash soaked into the lentils. adding four cups or no I'm adding six cups of water now Cosmic. Sleepy. I sat down like two o'clock today and I was just like, I can't get up again. Like, I already know that it's dangerous for me to sit down in my lazy boy. Yeah. Like, there's something about it, like, it must hit the just the perfect pressure points on my back or something, more so than my bed. Like, I sit down in that thing, it's like, lights out. It's got run lentils. I guess we can get into chopping some veggies here.
I'll leave the rest for right now. Now that's a leak. That's a unit of a leak. Normally you see him this big, and I checked this one. Normally you see him get this big, you start seeing a stem in the center, and this one's getting close, but you get a stem in the center of these when it starts to flower or fruit out, and then you get this solid stem through the center that you can't really use, but yeah, how you doing? Welcome, Jen. I keep meaning to make a lurk command. It's on my to-do list that doesn't exist. I don't have a to-do list. Other than in my head. Now if I was doing a quick saute or something like that, these are okay to use. They're not great at the same time. And if I put them into a liquid like that soup to cook, those are gonna turn bitter because they have the chlorophyll in them. But all that lighter green, all the white, that's all good stuff. And just to make this a little easier to handle. Now we go for a rinse in between the layers. Welcome, Master of Spits. This stuff towards the top is generally pretty clean. It's generally down here where it starts getting lighter, where it's been piled up with the sand on the plant that we get dirtiness. Also the insides of these tend to be somewhat sort of oval. And so you notice, I didn't quite get that on center, but that, that's not circular, it's oval. And I like to cut long way with it so that the other way gets a little bit of flatter cut. Additionally, they have sort of like celery, very obviously green, green um, fibers. All the strength of the plant is going this way. And so I'm chopping it against that to break it down a bit.
you, Suki. Thank you very much. Cheer 100 Happy Tuesday, Chef. Welcome in. Happy Tuesday to you as well. So we got our stock melted, mostly. I'm gonna pull this one off the flame. That's just for the end of this whole party. And then we'll get the other pan here heating up. So we can get a saute on our veggie. We're into add time, so give it a sec here. Let's grab some carrot and our kale. Get back here. Not happy with that bag of carrots at all. They were all dehydrated and cracked. And they just didn't look fresh at all.
Hey, Manel. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Nan Reader. Got an ingredient challenge tomorrow, so that's not going to be kale. Though I'm guessing it's probably going to be dandelion greens. So... Welcome in, Z. I'm just gonna stand here in front of my fan for a moment because I'm, I'm not interested in dripping sweat on my cutting board tonight. No, I am not bored. Silly captions.
Fear Effect Hut. Tim it, this isn't Burger King. And my voice commands are apparently not working. This is not Burger King. I do what I want. So welcome to the stream. You know, hang out, relax. Hey, Slice. I think that's the only time I've ever successfully used that one improper thing, Zeke. And while it's a new thing I've brought back to the stream, it's something that I've had sitting there, like, for maybe two years now. <laughs> Now, everyone that saw the whole Burger King thing. Yep, that's not working either, huh? Awesome. Oh, well. Tesla needs an oil change. Silly company. How, long, how many years do you think Tesla's gonna be able to get away without being a union shop?
All right, over on the stove. Are you gonna work for me tonight at all, voice commands? Are you even detecting from the right thing? It doesn't look like you are. Okay. Over on the stove. You're just not working for me tonight. Over on the stove. Zoom left. There we go. He can't afford to. He has to manufacture in the U.S. to sell in the U.S. Just like he couldn't put rear view cameras on his cyber truck because regulations require mirrors that are completely outdated by modern standards. You know how you have some of those like light refracting things where you can see one image in one direction and another image in the other direction. They actually have mirrors these days that sort of use that same effect to get a wide, much wider range of view that you could use for your top mirrors. And they actually sell versions of them for your top mirror that are for your rear view mirror. I don't know the proper term, but that are so better than current mirrors but the government doesn't allow us to use them. Well, the manufacturers to use them. You, like I said, you can buy them for yourself. Oh, well, I was hopeful for that for a long time, Zeeks. That, that's not coming any sooner, sooner than flying cars. And it's not because of the technology, it's because of regulation. I don't want a lot of things, Zeke, so that's just different from reality. I wish we weren't slowly working towards a new world war. Season all this up over here. MSG, salt, black pepper.
I love leeks in soup. I just like leeks, but there's not always a ton of chances to use them. <laughs> the peppers I'm just going to finish in the soup. The carrots, I'll get going with this. And then the kale, I'm gonna put in early and just go straight into the soup with. Zoom left. Oh, I said the wrong side. It recognized it, but I said the wrong side. Hey, Sahara. Welcome, welcome. Happy to see you in. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to everyone. Happy last night of Kale Week. Over on the stove. Over on the stove. leeks and carrots along with our kale and broth. I got more broth in back of that broth for or more stock behind that stock. For finishing everything up here. I'm realizing now I probably should have done the sausage before all these veggies. I could have used that sausage fat to saute all of these. I don't think it's the first time. I don't know. She's definitely made me do a vegetarian week before yours. Definitely think she's, no, she's made me do a vegan week too. Kiwi fruit. I'm gonna pull this veg off of the stove for a little bit and do just what I was thinking of doing. I'm gonna cook the sausage in here now so we get all that lovely pork fat.
zoom left, zoom left. Arg. Arg. That one's getting outy. Captions. Seriously. It is weird, it looks like every single one of these sausages is tied. Like, normally they're just, you just twist them. Like, you might tie the end of the whole thing, but generally not. Oh, stand up for me. Since meat constricts when it's cooked or reduces down, uh, I, you put them on the arched side and they will cook to flatten themselves. It's not a perfect thing, but usually it results in a little bit straighter piece of sausage. No one likes their sausage, Ben. Or maybe you do, and I'm not here to kink shame.
And also while we're here, I'm going to go ahead, well, the Stream Deck wants to cooperate, which doesn't seem to. Uh, I think it's time to call our weekly challenge here and declare dandelion greens our challenge for tomorrow. Uh, not in my yard, but most, yeah. Could definitely do it in my childhood yard. Ginkgo. We have Biloba fans. Closing Discord for the rest of the stream, so. I am going to finish these sausages in the soup, but might as well get as far as we can with them like this. I mean, I'm not going to throw them in the oven. But I will pull out a separate cutting board for dealing with them. I feel like I'm not able to cook sausages as well as I used to be able to. I, it's sort of a weird statement, but I feel like I used to be able to nail the temperature better than I have been lately. And I started off with these considerably warmer than I should have, considering how much color they have despite being still visibly raw in the center. If you want an example of that, I mean, that is pretty raw looking there versus
it's actually usually easiest to see that from the liquids at the edge there how the liquids are still you know click liquids run clear when cooked that's not always true but it's it works pretty well for these too Zoom left. Zoom left. Come on. I don't know why my stream deck is so slow these days, too. My stream deck takes way too long to respond these days compared to the way it used to. I have this, like... Paranoid me wants to think, you know, they want me to get the XL, they want me to get the next one, they're slowing down the old one. Sort of like they do cell phones. Here's a question for, for debate. Do you think the next Google phone will actually last the seven updates that they're promising? The seven years of updates that they're promising? How many people out there have had their cell phone like reliably last seven years other than a Nokia brick? I just don't do anything Apple. I haven't. And I was a part of the generation trained to use Apples in, in school. My first computer was an Apple too. leave these on they're still not even close to done however the difference between iPhone and, and pixel it, I mean there, there's not much like you know, it's the Apple ecosystem versus the Google ecosystem, but, you know, a lot of the people that are, like, all about iPhones were, like, because of the segmentation and Samsung not updating when Google updates or one of the 50 others don't update when Google does. But the Pixel phones are exactly, you know, they're getting Google updates when Google updates. And it's not with a whole bunch of extra scamware or anything like that bloatware you know have you gotta have the google play plus the samsung store plus the amazon store plus the and i could sit here and argue for google over apple all day but it, it's people choose one or the other they they both have their advantages and disadvantages
Now these are feeling a bit more cooked like. That one's not there yet. I'll measure out my lentils while we're waiting. I bought a big old sack of lentils, so we're gonna have to cook some more lentils here, chat. I looked up the ratio before, chat, of water to lentil, and wrote it on the bag because I knew I would forget. you enjoy that but look at my top of my head Got two cups of lentils here. Gonna go ahead and throw those in with our kale and stock over on the stove. They sort of disappeared, don't worry. They're gonna make a comeback. This one's still not done, but I'm going with it, chat. It's going into soup. While I'm cutting these up, we're gonna start our peppers cooking over on the stove. We'll add our leeks and carrot back in there. Ooh, a subarino. Who be subbing? Thank you for that resub. Thank you for those basil bucks.
See, they're coming back. You know what, chat? I messed up. I totally forgot I was planning to make breadsticks tonight. And it is getting way too late for me to be starting a Yusto. No bread tonight. Don't. Ventorious, how you been? Happy Tuesday to you. Eats off on that. None that are worth mentioning. Pork going into, or sausage going into the soup. Well, what I didn't just pour onto the stove. And all those juices. See, I'm sure I missed one more. Oh yeah, that one went rolling. This one goes in the trash. That one was a little... Yeah. Almost looks cheesy. Almost looks cheesy. Weather's been great the last couple of days. We, we got cold front, rain front come through uh, yesterday a little bit of rain and today obviously it's you know it hasn't gotten hotter so it's been I mean it hasn't it's been sort of like traditional old-school foggy but it's been great that 
not quite ready for one of those there. We're getting too big for this pot. I think it's transfer time. Turn the flame off. Now we're going to add the other stuff in with that. Now we've obviously still got some fond and some lovely stuff stuck on the bottom of that. So I'm going to take this stock back here and put that in this pan and use that to pick up everything off the pan. So we got the stock over here in our cast iron so that I can do a little scraping action. And magically, we have a soup once again. Now I've added next to no spice to this at this point, so we're going to start adding that in here now. We're definitely going to need some cumin with this one. Me, I love cumin with my lentils. garlic yeah let's go for the smoked paprika
And so, I think we're to the point already, chat. I think we're at plate up time here. Cut the heat on that. Parmesan. Let's do a quick chop up some green onion. Get some photos. What do you think, chat? It's looking a little muddy to me at this point here, but otherwise, that's looking damn tasty. Just so many colors that they're sort of melding together there. We got base colors mostly from those red lentils that are more of orangish yellow at this point. Got a little sour, sour cream in the center and got some green onion that I just chopped on there at the end. Leeks, carrots. Of course we have kale in there.
But I think this is where we're going where we're gonna leave it for tonight. Get a spoonful of this before I leave so I can tell everyone the lentils are undercooked or something silly. No, that's just delicious. That is just yummy. Green onion, give them just a little bit of crunch still because it hasn't cooked through yet. It'll steam through by the time I get back to finishing that though. I do believe that that is where I am going to leave it for tonight. I'm not feeling in the overly rating mood tonight, I guess. I hope to see you all back here tomorrow night. I'm going to be using dandelion greens to make dinner and dessert. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with dandelions and dessert. Thank you for that, Chop. No, actually, thank you, but... I, I say it depressingly, but it's a nice challenge. I like these challenges. Uh, and then we got a lot of fun stuff coming up here the rest of the month. If you look in the calendar down below, there's a Google Calendar link. There's all sorts of stuff in that calendar. Uh, we, I've got the rest of the month planned out ahead of time. You can look at the events in Discord, too. Uh, doing the last week, obviously, all going to be Halloween foods. I got a couple of more home fair food stuff that I'm going to do the week prior to that. So that's coming up here soon. And uh, we got some fun stuff like beef stew and chicken uh, noodle uh, casserole coming up uh, this weekend. So I hope you come back to join me. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great night. Good night. <laughs>